given in this python beginners tutorial i'm going to show you how can you check whether a given file is having a read or write access before making it to use so let's have a look at the quick few lines of code here i've already imported os because using os we are going to deal with files and the file name which i am going to check here is data.csv now before reading this file it is always a good practice to see whether we have access to read that file or not so one way is to you can just put try catch and then handle the situation but if you don't want to go for try catch the easiest way is to use if condition and check whether the file exists or not and then you can see whether you have permissions or not so let's begin so here I am saying if os.path and then we will call is file name because we are going to check for file here and the file name would be in the variable file name. So this will tell you whether this file exists or not and if it exists then we will see whether we have permission to read this file or not. So for that you have os.access and inside that we need to pass the file name along with what sort of permissions we are looking for so if you are looking for read you can just check for r okay if you are looking for write permission you can just check for w okay let's go with read okay so if file exists and we have permission then we can say all good otherwise we can print a message that either permissions or either file doesn't exist or permissions are missing so this is one way to handle the situation so now another way to deal with this thing is let's say this time we are checking for file what if you want to check for the directory so this particular function is not going to work for directory so here recommendation would be to use another function exists so i will quickly copy this line as it is and i would say os.path.exists and inside that you can check the file name and pass it let me comment out this line so this particular thing exists would work for directory as well as for file so if you don't want to be specific for file you can just use exist and put the same permission over here so this is how easy it is to check the permission on a given file before using it in actual so i hope you enjoyed this short video and thanks for watching